All right, Pisces, so I was in the middle of your reading. Um, I was talking about the Ace of Cups being reversed, so I feel like there was maybe a love offer that was presented to you or that you presented to someone and you were hoping to get something off the ground, and I feel like there is a delay, but the Wheel of Fortune is also here, so I feel like there will be a sudden, unexpected turn of events. Two of Swords is reversed here, so I feel like if there's something that has been blocked or that you've been indecisive about, I do feel like there is going to come some clarity. So let's see. Oh, <laughs> well, the Ace of Cups is upright here. So there will be um, a love offering and a new beginning um, that is going to turn out. So I feel like with time and patience that this Ace of Cups reverse will turn around and become the Ace of Cups upright. The Six of Cups reversed here. So I feel like if there is someone from your past that you're connecting with, it's maybe like more of a physical connection or attraction or a lustful, a lust-based kind of yearning for them. Um, but let's see what else we got here. The chariots here and the high priestesses here. These are both very water-based cards. Um, some of you might be dealing with a cancer, but also I feel like in order to move forward, I feel like you guys really need to trust your inner guidance system, um, your intuition, and um, that Pisces intuition is going to be the drive and the thing that keeps you motivated and pushing forward through whatever situation you're going through that may be problematic. The Page of Cups reversed is here. Um, I feel like there's like a holding back of emotion here. Um, there's a reservation of, there's that, this thing that like someone wants to give a cup of emotion, but there's also this hesitation to do so. So, Four of Cups reversed here. It's There's a lot of like, I have feelings, but I don't want to show feelings, but I don't know if I have feelings, but if I do show feel, like it's like a very, there's a lot of feels here, but there's not so much a lot of action with it. I'm, I'm actually not, haven't seen any Wands cards in this. So with this Four of Cups reversed, I feel like where before there was like a disinterest, now it's like there, but it's like, I'm still feeling like, yeah, Knight of Cups reverse. I'm telling you, there's just a lot of emotion here, but not a lot of um, action. So, let's see, what is this Four of Cups reversed about? Knight of Wands, yeah, there's a hesitation, but also in a Three of Cups reverse. Um, the Knight of Wands in this deck is sort of like a hope and a candle lighting of like, yeah, I'm kind of afraid to take some action, but also I see that there's possibility. With the Three of Cups reversed, I feel like someone is trying to eliminate the possibility of a third party situation, so maybe that's why there's some hesitation. There is a Two of Wands here though, so we got finally some action going. Um, I feel like there will be communication between you and somebody, and there will be this page of cups will finally come forward and this emotion and this love offering, like I said, with the ace of cups upright, but I feel like it's going to take some time with the nine of wands. The emperor's reverse. When I was doing your guys' um, tapping into your energy last night, I was getting the emperor reversed a lot. It's this... I feel like you guys are becoming the emperor, but you're sort of like scared to take that final leap is the feeling I'm getting of like really taking responsibility being like sure of yourself because you guys have been two of swords in the past and I feel like the emperor would be like a really big jump two of cups is reversed here what is this two of cups reversed about Two of Cups reversed with the Pisces. 
page of cups reverse you guys Ooh, okay um this is you guys but i'm feeling like there's like this i'm gonna be repetitive here it's like i don't know if you guys put a message out or you someone put a message out to you but there's like a a delivery but there's like also a a guardedness here so i feel like there is a motion but it's hitting a certain point of like not turning into anything is the feeling i'm getting hmm <clears throat> it's like you're afraid to take that like final leap what's this page of cups reversed about five of wands yeah I, I feel like this five of wands is like an inner battle of you don't know what to do <sighs> you're not quite sure let's pull one more card for advice oh five of swords which is sort of a like a, a self-preservation thing too um but let me what is advice for this five of wands and the five of swords for pisces right now Six of Wands reverse. I think you need to let your ego down. I think you need to will, be willing to be vulnerable. I think you need to take that final leap. Um, this is like, you know, the victory card upright, but reverse, it's sort of like you don't need to come at this with ego or arrogance or guardedness. You need to come at this with vulnerability and be that like true Piscean that you are. So that's a feeling I'm getting Pisces. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you guys next time. There's two videos here, so make sure you watch part one before you watch part two. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Bye.